Section 31 of the Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Mary Schneider. Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6. Edited by Julian Hawthorne. Section 31. Mahashada from the tibetan one day the king went into the park with his wives and enjoyed himself there together with them one of them took off a string of pearls worth a hundred thousand pieces of money and hung it on a spray of an asoka tree while sporting with the king she forgot about it and left it there at midnight after she had gone back to the palace with the king she remembered that she had left her necklace in the forest meanwhile it had been carried off to the top of a tree by a female monkey the king ordered his men to hasten to the forest and bring back the necklace they went there but they did not find it now a beggar had gone there in search of the remnants of the food of which other men had made a meal as he came forth from the forest after partaking of such food the king's men arrested him as no one else was to be seen there they called on him to render up the necklace although he protested that he had not taken it had not even seen it yet he was beaten with fists and stakes and then thrown into prison tormented by hunger he reflected that unless he contrived some cunning way of escape he would die there of starvation so he said to the jailer that he had it was true taken the pearl necklace but that he had given it to such and such a young merchant him also the king's men summoned and the two men were set fast connected by wooden fetters the merchant used to receive from home dainty food while he was partaking of it the beggar asked him for some but the merchant reviled him saying it is all very well for you to accuse me of theft in order that i may nourish you with my food i will give you none of it and having thus spoken he ate it all up after this when the merchant wished to change his place and said let us stand up and move the beggar replied i will not listen to your words i shall not get up then said the merchant henceforward will i behave so that you will be contented thus with friendly words and with an oath he won over the beggar and was able to do as he wished the next day the merchant sent home orders to provide in future food enough for two persons thereat the beggar was highly pleased and he reflected that in former times he used to wander about the whole city without being able to find the means of filling his belly but now food and drink in plenty were at hand while they so enjoyed themselves a further desire arose within them they thought that in order to have still more pleasure they must call in a lute player so the beggar accused a lute player also of having taken the string of pearls then the king's men cast him also into the prison after some time the others besought the beggar to find some means whereby they might become free saying that in that case he should want for nothing he promised to do so and bethought himself that no one could be of use except mahashada so he told the king's men that mahashada's son had likewise taken part in the affair and they sent for him also when mahashada heard that his son had been imprisoned he felt that he must certainly go to the place for if he did not do so his son would fret himself on arriving there he asked the king what offence his son had committed the king replied that he had been imprisoned on the testimony of the beggar with respect to the stolen pearl necklace when mahashada had become fully acquainted with the contrivance of the captives he said to the king the theft has not been committed by any of these people let them all go free on my word so they were released after this he went out to the park and came to the spot to the very tree where they had been before when he looked closely at the tree he perceived a female monkey sitting at the top of it then he felt sure that this animal had taken the string of pearls and that it must be enticed to come down by some artifice so he asked the king to go there with his wife 
and when there to hang a necklace round her neck. When that was done, the monkey, as it sat on the treetop, hung the pearl necklace round its neck. Then Mahashada told the king's wife to dance. When she did so, the monkey on the treetop also began to dance but still the string of pearls did not fall from off its neck. In order to bring that about, Mahaushada asked the king to make his wife, as she danced, hang down her head. Then the monkey also began to dance about with its head hanging down, whereupon the string of pearls fell down off its neck. Full of joy, the king embraced Mahaushada and bestowed much property upon him. End of section 31